What's going on my wild animals, particularly my unicorns, my beautiful, divine, magical, divine feminines, my feminine uh, energies out there. This is the unicorn report for the week of August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. And if you found this or if this found you, chances are that there are messages in here for you. My intentions are that these readings reach exactly whomever they need to reach at exactly the right times that they need to reach you for the best and highest good of everyone involved. Before I get started, we are now going home to the kingdom of heaven within. And, uh, we have now stepped into or we are now stepping into the age of Aquarius where we're going it's higher dimensionally so beautiful it's very love based leaving behind this Piscean age which was very fear based very dense very heavy a lot of black things like that a lot of illusions our divinity was hidden from us and uh, for my unicorns out there uh, and just everyone in general too, if you've been feeling um, just these like surges of just intense emotions or whatever it may be, whether it's frustration, whether it's sadness, irritability, things like that, that's um, as we are going home to this kingdom of heaven within because it's higher dimensionally because it's like going from an old razor phone, an old flip phone to like a futuristic like iPhone like we have now. And uh, it's so upgraded, so much faster, so much higher definition. And again, it's higher dimensionally so in order for us to get there um we're slowly acclimating i'll say or we're be being lifted up step by step by step little by little gradually because we got to get used to all of this light we're um we're being upgraded and it, it takes time um and it's a bumpy process um, not every day is going to be good. Not every day yet is going to be rainbows and butterflies, and unicorns. So it's getting um, the stone toe pass can help. Um, it can sort of if you're feeling frustrated, depressed, or lacking faith, toe pass will sort of recharge you, your batteries spiritually and. Physically, especially if you're lacking faith, if your faith bar is low, it's empty. Topaz will definitely charge that up for you and it will fill you up. Faith is required. All things are possible to those who believe. Um, so you have to have faith. But uh, yeah, also to look at uh, Topaz, I believe, is in one of the stones mentioned in Aaron's breastplate, is it? And the Bible, there's certain particular stones or crystals that are mentioned in there and they have special properties. So if y'all are curious, go look into it. Topaz will definitely help you if you're lacking the faith right now and just need to be recharged. Um, all right, so I'll go ahead and get into the reading. I'm not sure exactly what's going to come out. The only thing that I was really getting was um, for a lot of my defiant feminines out there, my unicorns, um, the justice card was coming out heavily um, in the pre-read. Divine justice, uh, scale is being balanced. Divine court is in your favor, uh, is in session and the ruling is in your favor. It's getting kind of, maybe you're kind of walking this tightrope right now and you're, in one direction you're looking this way and then you're looking this way and then you're looking this way and then you're looking this way uh as getting that you have had to be strong you've had to do a lot of fighting whether that's fighting to continue to have faith or whether that's fighting being strong in the world around you just to 
make ends meet and things like that or dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare and people that just uh smile on your face but then stab you in the back of people that don't have your best and highest good um but what i was getting for possibly you're caught between looking at the past and being sad about it and being angry and frustrated and thinking about cups in the past that have been knocked over been spilled cups are emotions um so a very looking back at a very emotional very getting ferocious past that came to mind that's for somebody um caught between that and also looking forward to like the new and you've been getting little blips like little downloads and stuff little flashes of it little um premonitions or like you could you could already see it you could already imagine it and it's looking very good for you sort of able to see into the future a little bit you know what you're calling and you know what you're praying for you know what you're asking for you know what your kingdom of heaven within looks like for you so i'm getting possibly y'all are in this teeter-totter right now kind of between looking at, at that ferocious past and looking forward to the new but uh even if it feels like in the moment like the right now that if you find yourself that you're in the past like that and you're just feeling really intense emotions That's going to happen. It's okay. Um, especially as we're coming up higher to this new dimension, this age of Aquarius, this heaven on earth, kingdom of heaven within. And it may not feel like it in the moment, but just try to remember that this too shall pass. That it's whatever you need. It's, you know, of course, pray, ask for help ask to be delivered, ask for your angels, guardian angels, whatever, to help, to assist, to give you whatever it is that you need to come up out of that and to feel better and to get to a more balanced place where you're not in the past and you're not too far into the future where you could just be right here, right now. Coming from a place where then you could be calm and happy and then you could create, you could pick those infinite possibilities from the future that you do want to call in. And that's the place you want to get to, but uh, just remember, ask for help and it will pass and you'll get exactly whatever it is that you need to come back to center. All right, um, that's all I got. I'll go ahead and uh, We'll pull the cards now and we'll see what's going on for your unicorn report. August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light may have uh, also to this channel is of the light and only of the light. Tarot is a tool. It can be used for either good or for bad, depending on the intentions of the person doing the readings. Always trust your own intuition, that still small voice within that will never lead you astray. All the answers that you seek are within you. All right, uh, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. May I have three cards, please, for my beautiful unicorns watching, my divine feminines, for the week of August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. All right, got our first card coming out here. All right, the Emperor. The Emperor is the counterpart to the Empress, the unicorn the divine feminine, the empress. This is the counterpart, the emperor, the zebra. Interesting, all right. Holy Spirit, guardian angels of the highest spotlight. I have two more cards, please. Two more cards, please, for my beautiful unicorns here watching. All right, two did fly out. All right. Ooh, I like it. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Game. I like it, all right. Oh, I'm getting tingles too. Good energy. Good energy, y'all. And this Ace of Cups here. 
She's a little hard on the cup, but I think it's beautiful on this card. You got the, the prism there with the rainbows. This Ace of Cups here, this is um, receiving a gift, well, um, from the divine coming up out of the heavens. Being like, here you go, unicorn. But really it's physical, emotional, and spiritual healing flowing emotions and definitely that blessing from above. So your gifts are coming in, especially if you've been feeling that energy recently, these emotional hurricanes or these storms that pop up. Also to keep an eye on the Schumann resonance as we are ascending, getting solar flashes, solar flares, things like that. There's all kinds of things going on in the heavens right now. So. That'll give you an idea of what's going on. All right, beautiful. So I'll get one card for the overall energy of this week, August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. May I have one card, please? One card for the overall energy of whichever unicorn here is watching, whoever needs it for the best and highest good. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. That wanted to come out. goodness ace of cups ten of cups for the overall energy You have your counterpart here, your zebra, the divine masculine, the emperor. You have your nine of pentacles here, which I believe is reaping what you've sown. That's three words coming in. Um, yeah. Or satisfaction and achievement. Also to it's being good on your own financially, being able to take care of yourself and to be able to want for nothing. But this is satisfaction. I'm getting this is gonna take place within yourself first this week. Because everything uh, at first starts within. Once you shift within, or once you change your perception within, or once you heal something within, then that change can be reflected actually in the physical, in that world outside of you. Secret place to the most high, your imagination. within you. Creation is finished, creation is complete. If you can imagine it, if you can see it within you, you can have it. Whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it and you will receive it. So I'm getting tend to the garden of your imagination. Jesus says, be transformed by the re renewing of your mind. Getting the, you're going to have a really big shift within yourself this week. And uh, this will even allow you to possibly meet your, uh, come together with a counterpart. This week. or be prepared with the Nine of Pentacles here. This is satisfaction. I believe after this change happens within this Ace of Cups, this emotional, spiritual, physical healing. I believe this is gonna take place within you. 
you're going to uh, probably be able to move away from imagining these more intense things from the past and you're going to receive this healing. And uh, I'm getting everything is going to kind of balance out ultimately what you, I think for the overall energy, I think this is saying focus on your 10 of cups, focus on that in your imagination, the garden of your mind, the infinite, abundant, magical, secret place of the most high, your imagination. We're becoming childlike again. We have to become childlike to enter this kingdom of heaven within, not only with this childlike faith, but also to being playful, carefree, and kids naturally use their imagination. They're so tapped in. It's only until they become adults where we're like, okay, you can't do that anymore. Can't use your imagination, but this is literally how we create. We imagine it and we focus on it and we speak it into existence, we pray. And it sort of solidifies into the world around us to our reality. So I'm getting heavily this week to dwell on your 10 of cups, dwell on what it is inside you, within you, that lights you up inside like a Christmas tree uh, on your counterpart, possibly that with like this, if you desire a relationship and I'm getting that's going to lead to this victory, this satisfaction. She's just sitting up there smelling the sunflowers. Sunflowers too are very prophetic. They're very, have a very spiritual significant meaning for the times that we're living in right now. Uh, so y'all could go look up the meaning for that online if you want, but uh, it's taking time to just stop and smell the flowers or whatever. Basket in the sun. Yep. So that's literally what I got. So this healing is going to come in. If you've been feeling like just a tornado inside that's going to settle down, you're going to get this healing within, especially emotional healing. Dwell, focus on your Ten of Cups, what lights you up inside like a Christmas tree. Those desires were put inside of you by the divine, the creator, most high, whatever you want to call it, to be expressed through you. You are a piece of that creator. You are a piece of all that is. And you are made in the image of that, uh, all that is, which means you are a beautiful, divine, wild animal creator being in the flesh here to co-create. So whatever that desire is inside of you, focus on that, dwell on that, your emotional kingdom of heaven within, and then call that in. Uh, speak with confidence there's power of life and death in your tongue speak it into existence pray, seek, ask, focus on it dwell on it and be as juicy as you can in your imagination imagine every little detail you know you don't have to worry about the specifics the, the hows, the whos the whats exactly just be general about Know what you want, but leave it up to most high to figure out all of those hows, the whats, the whos, and things like that. Because your job is not to worry about all of that. You don't even know best anyways how to do all that. God, most high, uh, infinite loving intelligence knows just how to do that, just how to bring that in for you. So you don't have to worry about those hows, whos, whats, whatever. It's just focus on your rainbows, your dreams, hopes, wishes, desires, your ten of cups. It's so cute, little heart on the cup there. I was just getting something, but then uh, just my mind went blank. Um, you are infinite. You are a multi-dimensional spiritual being, unicorn, wild animal, having a right now temporary human experience. So 
Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. May I have uh, any more cards that my beautiful unicorns need to know? Four of Wands flew out. This is celebration. You're going to be celebrating. If you're feeling rough right now at the start of this week or whenever you're watching this it will pass this too shall pass be still and know that i am god ah uh, it came back to me again or almost i can't remember quite what it was it must not be for right now then um Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. Any last cards for my unicorns? My beautiful divine feminines. My magical unicorns for August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. All right, Six of Wands. This is success, victory. You know, that's you here, the unicorn. The fire is very passionate, very passionate energy. The unicorn there, the feminine up there celebrating on top of the rock there. Like, yeah, woo! Or whatever y'all do, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but yeah, we have our, our celebration here, our four of wands, and then our victory. know that your ace of cups here physical mental emotional spiritual healing is coming in this week and then your job is to focus on your ten of cups focus on that imagine that fill in every little juicy detail that you can with your imagination and focus on it as much as possible and then speak it into existence pray ask believe receive and it will be Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. Any last cards from my beautiful unicorns, my divine feminines, my wild animals? My... For the unicorn report. For August 22nd through August 28th, 2023. This is the Nine of Wands. You may be feeling a little bit on the defensive right now are on guard at the moment. Maybe feeling some mistrust. I think that goes back to what I was talking about earlier in the beginning of the reading, how right now with all these just emotional hurricanes and stuff that are going on in the collective, it's probably how you're feeling, but just know that you are well protected at all times. It's going to clear, it's going to clear up and you're going to be just fine. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. Any last cards, one final card, one final message for my beautiful unicorns for August 22nd through August 28th, 2023, for the best and highest good of whichever unicorn fine feminine is watching here. Oh my goodness, that flew all the way on the ground. Same card flew out, different, the other deck, same card. You may have been crying a lot for whatever reason, to the point of being able to like almost taste your own tears or something, I don't know. You've had to been strong to show strength. Strength was, this even came out in the, the pre-read that I was doing, the same. Strength, nine of wands. It's gonna be okay. It's just a storm that's passing right now, even though you may. Goes back to what I was saying too about the topaz. You may feel depressed or a little bit hopeless right now. Your faith may be like at zero or 1%, like your iPhone battery just barely hanging on. If you can, so go out and get yourself a topaz. That's one of the stones in Aaron's breastplate in the Bible. And those stones listed have very uh, special properties. 
you know, could study it if you want, but uh, Topaz is going to charge you back up, not only physically, but spiritually as well. It's going to recharge you energetically, physically, and it's going to recharge your faith. It's going to fill that battery back up, and maybe that's where this Ace of Cups is coming in, especially. You don't have to have the Topaz, but I'm getting it's going to definitely help a lot. It's going to make a huge difference. Either way, your healing is coming, your Ace of Cups. You may be crying right now or just having to be strong and just feeling all crazy and stuff, but... It's gonna be okay. Victory, success. Gain. Love your counterpart, whatever it is that you're calling in, whatever is your Ten of Cups. Focus on that, dwell on that this week. Um, Jamie came to mind for some reason. That's probably for someone out there. Maybe that's your name. It's not going to apply to everybody. This is a general read for the, the collective. Um, and again, the Emperor flew out again from the other deck. That's your counterpart. That's the zebra, the divine masculine, you all are the unicorns, the divine feminine. Alright, that's all I got. Rose quartz is good for y'all too. Sending y'all a bunch of love. I'm here for y'all. If you want a free reading, my email is in the description box below. Feel free to reach out. Let me know what you need, what's going on, and I'll be happy to be of service to you. Until then, um, stay magical, stay wild, stay free, and thanks for stopping by. I'll catch y'all later.